Happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. Right now, I know by the time you guys see this, it's gonna be in the past. But anyways, today I'm gonna go talk to some fifth graders. And I, uh, a little concerned about the rules about kids and YouTube videos and whatever, probably. And, and also, I just got asked to do this yesterday, so there's nobody signed a waiver. I didn't talk to the, <laughs> the school or something officially, so I'm not gonna film it, because um, you know, you know how people are these days. <laughs> so we'll pick up uh, after I do that. Thank you to Gale Elementary School. It's been a fun day and I know you, you all have something to say, right? Weren't those kids so energetic? That was so fun. <laughs> All right, so we're back. We've got young David helping me out. Hi. He's getting familiar with how this veggie oil system works. And so there's two hoses right there. So we're gonna have to take those hoses off, wrap them, make sure they're nice and clean, don't let the oil out, and uh, then of course drop this tank. Oh look, there's another drain plug. I hope that one's not finger tight. Um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna get to work. All right, here's the update. We ran into a problem. First problem, you wanna tell them what the first problem was? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, first problem was we couldn't get the bolts off of the frame because me and Badge put them on there with like a really strong snap-on driver, hammer driver, hammer drill. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, so I was thinking, well, can I access the fuel sending unit from the top? There are two fuel sending units on the tank. So, in regular English, simple man's terms, my terms, a hole in the tank from the top, right? Uh, now, one is back here somewhere. The other is right, right next to the strap. And if you go up, it's about right here. Which is, guess what? Right under the bench. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know you are, because you're pretty smart. We can access it from inside by cutting a hole in the floor, uh, subfloor, cutting a hole in the metal, accessing it from the top. However, the total distance from the top of the tank to the uh, metal floor is about five inches. Well, this is the unit here, this is a hot fox. This is, I bought this off eBay trying to get a good deal. It has a separate uh, fuel sender, that little, I don't know, this little part right there. That's for uh, uh, something like a Webasto or uh, any, any you know, a, a, it's basically a secondary fuel source. This is the primary fuel source that comes out of the top like a freaking submarine periscope, right? I think that's what the P is for, it stands for periscope. This is too tall. I'm going to have to get a different unit if I want to go down this uh, uh, down this road. So I can't use this. It's going to be too tall unless I lift up part of the floor, not the subfloor, but the metal floor part of it. I'm not sure I really want to do that. Also, i got to drop him off in a couple hours. So I'm not sure how much further we're going to get with this whole vegetable oil heated tank idea. Right, here's the update. I ordered a newer slimmer slimline hot fox. This one is not. I don't know. Maybe this was an old style one and, and that's what I purchased on eBay unknowingly. Um, that's what happens sometimes when you try and cut corners. It ends up costing you more money. Now I'm going to have to try and sell this thing on eBay. If anybody's running veg or something and has more space and wants to buy this, hit me up because uh, I'll sell it for what I purchased it for, and I think it was like 160 bucks or something. Uh, anyway, so, all right, yeah, so got the new one ordered. Going to cut a hole in the floor. I'm going to wait till that unit comes just to make sure. I feel like, see, this is, this is the, expect the unexpected is a good mantra for when you're building your own school bus. Um, transmission guy is on delay still. It is, I think, Thursday in real life. Hoping, I'm gonna try. I have to call the transmission guy and see if we're still on. I'm hoping by Monday we can do it. 
I still have many things to do in here. I have two weeks, two plus weeks before, well, three weeks before some friends want to take a trip. Um, you know, I mean, go, going so slow at this damn bus, and uh, I just feel overwhelmed and, and uh, <laughs> just feel like there's so much to do. Um, even though it is pretty close, there's a dozen jobs left. So, anyways, I'm going to go get a, not that this is going to help speed it along, but I, I got to go eat lunch and uh, try and figure out a game plan. <laughs> just want to thank Reed Shoot Single Schoolie for being one of the Patreon executive producers. I, I told him no. I said, you gave, already gave me a bathroom, you know, I found your bus, we're even. And he insisted, so, um, thank you, Reed. I don't know how I, I have so many amazing people in my life, but you are one of them, and I appreciate that so, so much. You have no idea. We are filtering oil. We are removing oil. We are putting in a level into the oil tank, okay? So, it's going to be an oil-based video. Hopefully we'll be back on the road soon. I personally learned from mistakes. Last time I tried to change the fuel sending unit uh, level. Made a big mistake, so I'm not gonna repeat. Now these things uh, only go in one position. So what I'm gonna do is mark the position on the tank, because it's gonna be really hard to reach. Mark the position of the pattern uh, with some kind of, I don't know, paint or something. Then I will note the direction of this uh, relative to the way that this thing swings, which is like this, and then we'll put that thing back in. This is going to be a big pain in the ass, and the lighting is non-existent, so I'll probably just give you an update on it when I finish. All right, I am going to wrap up a multi-day uh, oil video. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it snowed out here. It rained out here. I was away last weekend. Uh, I have uh, been filtering through the denim jeans into here and then I've been pumping that into the tank. I feel like I've gotten a majority of the gunk out. There is still some remaining and I, there's, that's just going to be the reality. <laughs> I'm not going to get everything out. Um, so I'm basically pumping these holding tanks into, into the jeans, the jeans is filtering out, and then back into the veggie oil tank. Um, I got myself in a little pickle here because I got myself a fuel uh, level sender. This is what tells you how um, full you are, but it's a little tricky to get it in there because I only have like five inches of clearance. So, um, and then I just adhered the gasket to this part uh, because I can't see what I'm doing and, and these only go in one direction. Uh, not like the band, but, um, you know, I might have to just bend this um, part here, or maybe, if it's possible, even take, I don't know, you know what I'm thinking, I could clamp this, I could clamp it, I could put it in, and then have it on a, uh, like a, shoot, I don't know, a vice grip or something, or, you know, you know what I'm saying, clamp it like this with some pliers, and then screw this top part back in so I'll get to that later that's not fun to do you can't see anything because it's so dark in there but um, also we got some visitors we're gonna, we're gonna make a separate video with Mojo Bus so again thank you guys for uh, watching subscribing liking all that go all that helps out the videos um, and of course everybody on uh, patreon as well that's a separate kind of help but I appreciate everyone's interest in this, this uh, uh, the videos the travels um, I'm really not into the DIY stuff as I think you guys can tell by now but uh, we're almost back on the road so um, we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.